let's just take a moment and talk about what it is, how it's organized, and then how you're supposed to use it. And then I, I think I think we'll have done a good job uh, today. So, uh, Jason, why don't you tell us like who published the cybersecurity framework? Like where did it come from? Yeah. So as we said, it's the NIST cybersecurity framework, which means it was published by NIST. Now, NIST is the National Institute of Standards and Technology, and that is a part of the U.S. State, uh, United States Department of Commerce. Now, NIST didn't write this themselves, though. Instead, they brought in a whole bunch of experts from private industry, and they held multiple different conferences where they took all these experts from across America, and they decided what are the things that should be included in this framework. Now, when they started making the NIST cybersecurity framework, it was actually named going against a single purpose, and that was the protection of critical infrastructure inside the United States. Now, before that, we, uh, after that, we've now moved on and used it in lots of different industries. KIPP uses it all the time with lots of different companies that aren't considered critical infrastructure. And that's totally fine because it works so well in the critical infrastructure realm that everyone else started adopting it as well. But it was originally developed for critical infrastructure, which is things like oil pipelines, energy resources, um, you know, logistics, healthcare, things like that. And so they took this thing and they got all the experts together and they created this framework. And the whole framework is only about 50 to 60 pages long, but it is really, really valuable as you start looking at it and how you can look at the organization of it and then use it in your, org in your business. 